Right, I am out of here. Have the baby bell. You can have that baby bell, lad. Yours. You're gonna miss me. <laughs> <laughs> So what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. As you may notice, I have a different background behind me and that is because I've moved out and I've actually moved out from Will. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be discussing with you the main reason why I moved out from Will. The main reason I'm really doing this video is just to give my top advice on how to work and live with your partner, brother or best friend because I know so many of you out there during this COVID situation have had to work from home and it's been putting a lot of tension on relationships. So, what I've learned with living and working with Will for the last five years, hopefully will be able to help you guys out in the future as well. Oh my word, I do not miss moving out, that is for sure. I'm moving out from the pad, I'm the first one to go. Will's gonna be in here for a couple of days. I think you're all gonna miss the sunsets on my Instagram of this gorgeous view. Every time the sunset drops here, even I'm gonna miss it. Are you the white storm? It's glorious. Look at those clouds today. Wow, hopefully my new pad has a nicer view. Um, right, so I've left you. Cool. I said to you, you can have a soda stream. You can have both wicker bar. Listen, you can have a soda stream, both wicker baskets. But I want that, JBR. You've got the desk, the thingy. You've got the TV. That's it. And you've got the, the book of biscuit wicker baskets. You've got all the lights. You've got the kettle. Yeah, as we say, you've got them all. You've got everything. You've got those lights. I mean, you got the you got the Sony. You got the Sony. Oh, here we go. This is why we're moving out. Crikey, it's so bare. I remember moving in here as if it was yesterday. We came, we conquered, we nailed it. Yeah. The creative station is what we like to call it. Oh god, we've got so much cleaning up today. I know, yeah, I saw that. I've left all this stuff as well. I've left loads of grooming products. So whoever's lucky who lives here. It's gonna get a ton yeah. of green I'm not I'm gonna take them all downstairs. Oh, you are. I was a chroma one. You can have them. Oh. So, with my man Demetra here, he's taking, he's packing all my stuff up for us. Oh. So, he's going out to the removal van, and it's all there. Hey, I told you, man, you gotta take care of these plants. Yeah, yeah. Take care of these plants for me. They're my only, they're my love. <laughs> okay, that's so all this going. Brilliant. The only things I love and they're still dying on me. <laughs> the best thing about this removal company, they're in, they're out, and they get it done. I've used them before, fantastic services. They're literally so good. They just like getting the job done quick and easy. Anyway, let's get all this stuff over to my new home. This will be the last time I'm on the floor 12 Mecca. Got into some of the best shapes. Well, I did get into the best shape of my life on this gym. The home of the Mecca. This is it. This was it. And this is the flat I'll be leaving. Ah, oh, feels so empty without me. That's it, just Willie and his shit left. Oh, I need to get my Sky Controller. I need that one, I'll see him when the works. Damn, it feels so empty. So I've just left Will and I'm heading to my new flat and you know what, it was really weird, like I actually felt quite emotional, like I started to tear up a little bit and he was like, mate, you mad? I was like, mate, I just hit me, I was like, I'm leaving, like we've been in this pad, we've created so much content in here, we've worked together, we've lived with each other and I was a little bit upset, um, but hey, I wear my heart on my sleeve so that was probably why. Anyway, I'm going to head to the new apartment now and yeah, let's see if we can beat the guys there. They're in the real van, I need to get there first, so let's go. Oh, so I am absolutely exhausted. I've been on a really long shoot today. So the first time I moved in, I basically organised a shoot the next day, which is probably a terrible idea because the entire flat is just in boxes. Let me show you. So this is literally it. I'm not going to give you guys a full tour yet because... Yeah, it's an absolute state. What I'm gonna do is go through some of it now, pack up some bits, and then I guess I'll discuss with you the main reason why I've probably moved out from Will. Uh, and I think you guys will be interested because, yeah, hold on tight. <laughs> but I need to organize some of this and make it actually a livable flat because right now it's a pigsty and I hate living like this. So shoot done, 
I am exhausted and I want to go enjoy some sun, but I physically can't because I've got to get this sorted. But once I'm all settled and all the dust is settled as well, it'll feel so much nicer and like an actual home. And that's what I want. So yeah, let's get cracking. Right then, always the hardest thing. How the hell does this work? Good start. What does this one do? Ah, oh, that swaps that one. All right. Got it. no space left what do I do with the rest of the shoes I said to my flatmate I'd give him some space on here uh oh thing is I think I need to give you guys a full shoe wardrobe breakdown if you would like that comment down below shoes done so guys myself and Will have had tons of messages about why we no longer live together We've been asked if we've had a huge argument or something and to set things straight, that is not the case. We always get asked why we stopped doing our twin YouTube account and pursued our own and why we are barely posting our joint account compared to our individual ones. So I'll address those things in this message as well. But one thing I really want to address in this entire video is how to work and live with a partner, best friend or family member because I have discussions with people and get asked online all the time how you two, well, me and Will live and work together and I know many people out there struggle with this too. So I thought it would be good to go over a few of the things like I guess we've learned by living and working together to have a better relationship with one another. So Will and I have been best mates ever since we were kids. Being in the same room is going to be particularly difficult to split up from one another as we grew up. We even tried to be in separate friendship groups as kids. We even asked if we could have different classrooms in secondary school. But it always led to having the same mates and enjoyed the same subjects naturally. So we've always been around one another. We then got to college and again had the same friends and did almost the same subjects. The only things come up different were my grades, which were better than Will's. He'll admit that as well. So we actually decided to go to separate universities. Will went to Leeds and I went to Newcastle. And despite studying almost identical subjects, this is when we were no longer known as the Way Twins but I had to build separate identities as Will and Henry. At first it was really challenging as we've always had one another I guess to support each other. You turn up to a party, you never turn up alone. You awkwardly turn up late when you should have arrived on time and you've got someone to do it with. You have a fight or something and you always had a backup. Not that we ever fought, but you get my point. <laughs> but now being in a different city with people from across the country who didn't know you were twins, this was when we both had the opportunity to really build our confidence in each of the individual identities. So we both did exactly that. However, with being a separate unit, we both got the same job working in Nando's before becoming club promoters and running our own events in separate cities. But by doing the same job, we inevitably crossed between both cities and began having mutual friends. But from having the city separation, it definitely grew us closer as we didn't see each other constantly. We would always call each other, we had things to talk about, we would ask each other how work's been and when we discuss when we next see each other. But it sounds like a long distance relationship. So after university, Will, myself and a friend travelled Southeast Asia and uh, lived in Australia for two years, which was amazing. But then we both moved to London and lived together with friends. Then for work purposes, we decided to move in together. This meaning we had to, to get a lovely two bed apartment which we've just been in for the past 18 months. So for the past five years, I've started two businesses with Will, lived with him, gone through relationships with him in the picture, and even spent lockdown with him, which isn't exactly over yet. All this pressure started to build up and it got to the point where we were just stepping on each other's toes, bickering more often, which also led to like heated arguments and just getting bored with one another. It was beginning to get quite competitive too. Like I'd hear Will wake up at 6 a.m. 
and feel need. I needed to get out too, which just shouldn't be the case in any relationship. The last eight months, we've been seeing the same therapist, which has been absolutely brilliant. As she has just been, she's seen an unbiased view on both of us and has no judgment on either of us compared to like friends and family you see from a different perspective. Before we began seeing her, we were both working nonstop, began to procrastinate a bit, and we find ourselves not only taking longer to do easy tasks, but as we did the same job, we were always up at the same time, eating at the same time, having downtime together, and we just felt we were losing our creativity as well as like our best mate status. The thing is, we both knew this, but we couldn't really snap out of it as we had picked up some bad habits. So ever since we have seen our relationship with, another, with one another has just been constantly improving. We've managed to separate constant work chat to fun and normal chat, have our own time and find a good balance between work and fun together and separately as well. But guys, the reason why we moved separately because we wanted it to be like it was a university again, where we had to build our own like individual identity, but also it would help blossom our relationship. We can have different ideas, we can bounce off one another with chats over the phone, and then if we need to come together to do stuff, we can do, but in scheduling the work hours and the chill hours, so it's not just constant work, work, work. So we're only early days in, but we're both starting to see the massive benefits of it already, which is obviously great. I guess you also don't want to be living with your twin brother when you're like, 40 years old, I guess it gets a little bit weird, especially when you have wife and kids, which I hopefully will have by the time I'm 40 anyway. So guys, if you're struggling with work and living with your partner, my biggest suggestions would be the following tips. Number one is to separate work and downtime. Make sure you're scheduling in hours of work and hours of doing things together you enjoy, and don't bring up work in these hours when you're having that downtime. Yes, there are times and days where you have to just do the work, which can be the case, but there'll be these days where you have no work, and it's those days which you should really cherish and appreciate too. Whether it be like a movie night, date night, walks in the park at lunchtime, picnics, holidays, or whatever. If you don't, you'll just end up getting caught in this vicious circle of work, 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 which I know can be really hard in London and other cities because it's always like go, 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 but that downtime is just so important. Number two, I'd say be competitive, but make it a healthy competition. Will and I, in everything we do, we always want to be number one and number two. For example, if we do a 10K race, we aim for the top two spots, but we want to beat each other by just like a fraction of a second. That way we know we pushed ourselves and pushed each other to the best possible versions and possible we can go, but we've also done it in a good way for both of us. The next point, guys, is have alone time. It's so important that in relationships you have your own thing to do. Find out what your hobbies are and dive deep into those. Spend time with your mates, take trips by yourself. It may sound counterproductive, but actually time apart is so important just for rejuvenation for yourself and your own mental health too. The next thing I'd say, guys, is try new things. This could be together or alone. If you want to find your passion or try new hobbies you may enjoy, then I suggest you try one new activity or hobby every weekend straight for eight weeks. It may be tough, but pick one day, afternoon or evening and just commit to it. It could be anything, guys. Rock climbing, learning to dance, going to the gym or picking up a sport. There's so many opportunities out there. They're just endless. Not only will you find out what you do and don't like or what you're weirdly good or not good at, but it will give you something to talk about, which is never a bad thing either. The most important point I'd say with you guys is this one. Don't be scared of therapy, guys. I read a quote that said, working on your body is attractive, but show me a receipt of your therapy sessions so I can see you're working on yourself. Don't ever feel sorry or weak for taking care of yourself or your mental health. It is the number one thing I've done in my entire life and have only developed as an adult by doing more of this. I guess as children, we pick up some really bad habits naturally from those we're around. These are unintentional, but a therapist will dive deep into these childhood-like traumas and issues you've had and explain how they have affected you growing up and how they have distilled in you. And then they will help you remove these and how you can work on them. It's just so interesting as well, and it's also got me really into like neuroscience and how the brain works. For me, it's just like fascinating to see how it all like interlinks from your childhood and everything. So I really suggest you get it done, guys. Couldn't be more of the best, couldn't be one of the best things I've ever done. Begin with those few things and I promise you, your work-life balance and relationships will begin to blossom, whether it be with your brother, girlfriend, partner, or whatever, like, they really will help. I also said I'd briefly discuss why we post more on our individual accounts and less on our joint YouTube account too, and that's simply for a bunch of reasons, guys. Like, we shoot a lot of each other's content, so it helps to sharpen our own videography and photography skills, 
and we feel if we have two large platforms, then we're naturally helping each other grow and spread the way to win brand, as well as our individual work we do as well. We simply stopped doing the joint YouTube twin account. As if I'm honest, it may be slightly hard when we eventually do have families and kids and trying to have a joint account between us both. I guess it may just get a little bit confusing for the audience and I know we haven't got a super large following yet, but notice how I said the word yet because it's slow and steady wins the race and we will soon because we want you guys to come on this journey with us both. So the final point I have to say guys is basically Will and I will always be best mates. I don't know how your twins out there, well I don't know how there are twins out there who aren't best mates and end up hating each other. I just find it really strange. Like you're born together, you grow up together. The bond is like nothing else and that's the way I definitely think it should be. So guys, thank you so much for tuning to this video. I hope it's been really insightful for any of you guys out there who are actually having these like working relationship problems with your loved ones but there are so many ways you can fix it. I guess next week's video guys, stay tuned because it will be a flat tour of the new place and I think you're gonna massively like it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button right down there. Peace.